kind of like old times together, wasn't it, Patrick? Two yeah. days in El Paso. Yeah, and we're back in Lincoln County now. I mean, uh, fun's over just like that, huh? No, it's not really. Man's entitled to a little fun. But I don't mean 24 hours a day. <laughs> That's where we're different just a little bit, Patrick. <laughs> I didn't get hit, but that's a hard way of saying hello. Young Apache buck, having fun. Uh, just a little, you mean. Look over there. It may be more than a little. Drink of water, you asking him questions. What's the matter? Don't you ever stop playing law, man, Patrick? Not very often, Billy. I get him some water. I'll let you take it easy now. We're your friends. You understand? Your friends. That's huh? all right. There you go. Sure, he can take care of himself. Besides, Billy taking in strays doesn't pay. I remember when you took in a stray, the name of Billy Bonnie. Maybe I ought to return the favor. Before you do, you better ask him why he was staked out on that anthill. My pony rides double. You could be making a mistake, Billy. Yeah, I could be. And that's my privilege, ain't it, Patrick? Come on. put him in a cell. What'd he do? Well, he has to sleep someplace tonight. I'll send him on his way in the morning. Well, look, uh, maybe I could find him a job around town here, something you know. Billy, he's not a town Indian. Who'll hire him? I don't know. <laughs> Whoever I could talk into it, I guess. Look, I know you're trying to help somebody you think needs it, but you don't know anything about him. That scar on his cheek, you know what it is? If you do not know, I will tell you. It is a tat mark the Apache's brand their slaves with. All right, so he's a runaway Apache slave, huh? They call him, they staked him out. Doesn't mean he doesn't deserve another chance, does it? I don't know, Billy. It's not up to you or me. Oh, you sound just like one of these town reformers. Take it any way you like. I don't mean that. I mean, I mean, 
You, you know, I... It's all right, Billy. I'll do what I can for him. Come on. Much obliged. Respectable citizen. I hope you're right, Billy. I suppose you know you're sticking both our necks out. Patrick, you were born cynical, boy. There's one thing. I won't have any trouble in this town. You understand me? Come on, let's go. Come on. Uh... Have you meet your new swamper here? An Apache? Yeah, well, uh, he can push a broom as good as anybody, George. Just uh, oh, now, come on. Yeah, I gotta go somewhere. I gotta see him out of here. Better. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll see you later. You take it easy, will you? You put this book away here, and I'll buy you a drink. I'd like to, Billy, but I get paid the sheriff full time. Yeah? Would you take an hour off for me anyway? Because uh, I want you to see how good Tom's working out over at the saloon. Tom? Yeah, you know, the kid we found. Uh, I call him Tom. Said the Apache's call him Tiger Eye or something like that. Oh. Billy. Billy, did he ever tell you why he was staked out on that anthill? Yeah, he told us. He said he was a runaway Apache slave. Yeah, I heard him. I heard him, but the Apaches reserved that punishment for a serious crime. You know that too, Billy. You don't take a chance on anybody, do you? You're always done. Look, Billy, I've gone along with you, but uh, you don't know any more about him than I do. Why are you trying so hard to defend him? Because no one else will. Someplace else. Mean some time without even trying, you know. They just come on, let's go in there. Yo, you're late again. Billy, when you talked to me to giving him a job, you told me he'd be here on time. Well, he ain't made it yet, not once. Look, Joe, why don't you take it just a little easy on him, because he's never done this kind of work before. Don't look to me like he's ever done any kind of work. You stay and work a half an hour later. Clean up. Get busy. It is no use, Billy. It will not work. Yeah, it's going to work. It's all right. It just takes time. Tom, uh, what my friend Patrick tells me, <laughs> just give it a chance. You are my friend, Billy. Right. For you, I will try. All right. But I do not know for how long. That's fair enough.
you start hiring Apache bucks. Ain't my idea. Okay, his idea was I don't like it. I don't like him. That makes two of us. Then get rid of him. Can't trust one of them, you know it. I hired him as a favor to a friend. Can't fire him without a reason. Maybe I can give you one. your drink, but it's still cabin. Tom. Tom. Tom! Billy, let him go. Please go on. That's better to happen now. It wasn't his fault. Billy, it doesn't much matter who starts trouble. You know that. All I wanted to do was just... just give him a chance. Knifed. Apache death mark. Your friend has it carved on his cheek. That don't mean he did it, Patrick. I should have had better sense than let you talk me into hiring that murdering Apache. That's the way you were pushing him, Joe. You're lucky it wasn't you. Billy! You, Johnson, you Forbes, get your horses. Meet me at the office. We'll go after him. Joe? Take care, Purdy. Oh, Billy! You can go along to bring him back. What for, to hang? He'll have a chance to prove he's innocent. Yeah? What chance would any Apache have in a white man's court? Same as any other man. I'd be a fool if I thought that. You're a fool if you don't. Well, I'm not going along with you this time. I intend to find out for myself. Billy, he's all Apache now. If you push him too hard, he'll kill you. I don't believe that. I'll tell you this just once, Billy. Don't try to interfere.
Somebody jumped them from behind, same time they jumped us. You thinking the same thing I am, Billy? <laughs> Just the kind of a trick Billy loves to pull. You know, Pat, there are times I feel like taking back some of the things I've said about Billy. See, we've got to get Johnson back to town. You manage it alone? Sure, what about you? Well, the Apache's out, one man can get through easier than three. I mean, like they've cleared out. I'll go get the horses. Tom? What's the matter? You don't need that. Boy, you, you are... You sure took some finding, Tom. My name is not Tom. And I did not wish for you to trail me, Billy. Well, you knew I'd come, didn't you? See. I suppose I did. You brought Garrett? No, I didn't bring Garrett. I didn't bring anyone. I wanted to find you myself. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I wanted to find some answers. Uh, you killed Purdy, didn't you? It was not for this I killed him. I have been bad medicine ever since I can remember, Billy. The Apaches? They did not want me, nor did the whites. I could not help this, but they hate me for it. There was a girl. She was as pretty as a fawn. I loved her. So much I did not know day from night. She cursed me, Billy. She laughed at me. I was in a fury. And I killed her. I killed her. And the Apaches, they come and they find me. And they take me out. Do you understand why I did it, Billy? Do you? I'm asking about Tim Purdy. See, I killed him too. Purdy didn't have a chance, Tom. Now you tell me why. People torment me, Billy. They push me into corners because of this. There must be a better way to judge a man. You jumped him in the dark, Tom. From the back. What else is there to do for an animal like what they have made me? This knife is the only one I can trust in the whole world. I thought maybe I could trust you too, Billy. Yeah, 
Well, you're not going to stick anyone else in the back. Because I'm going to stop you right now. No, Billy. No. I will not go back to hang, Billy. I've seen too many men die this way. I will not. No, Billy. No. Tom! Well, I walked right into it. Why'd you do that? I owed you a debt. It is now paid. Tom, we gotta end it right here. Why, Billy? You said you were my friend. I just saved your life. I know that. Then why? You don't win no badge. You could let me go, Billy. No one would ever know. I would. No! Kill you. You're gonna have to to get away. Then I am sorry for, for what I must do. He hated his enemies, Patrick. And everyone was his enemy. I don't think he knew what to do with a friend. Billy. He killed an Apache girl. Because she laughed at him. Just one show of love might have changed him. No, Billy, he was a murderer. That knife was the only friend he had. I would have stopped him, Patrick. Yeah, you would have tried. But I couldn't let him kill you while you were doing it. I'll bury him. Put on the headboard. 